Hi guys and welcome to my channel Native Explorer. I get a lot of questions from my subscribers about life in Thailand during COVID. So today I'm going to address these questions. I'm going to show you the touristic places in Bangkok. Right now I'm in Khao San Road and, and as you can see it's completely deserted. I'm going to talk about traffic, air pollution, nightlife, shopping and the sky train. And after that I'm going to also go to Pattaya, Koh Samoy, Koh Phangan and Koh Tao and show you what is life like over there. Just to keep this video short, I'm going to focus on Bangkok on this video. So make sure to come back to the channel and check about all the other destinations that I will visit for you guys. Right now I'm in Khao San Road, a very touristic place in Bangkok and as you can see everything is closed and actually a lot of the businesses closed down. Uh, it kind of went back to life two, three weeks ago but then when the Omicron spread started, Thailand changed its policy, they stopped the test and go and they require seven days quarantine to get back into the country and that is the result, everything is completely shut down. The good news is that starting February 1st, the test and go is coming back with one minor change. So before you need to do a PCR test only on the first day, but right now you will need to do PCR test on the first day and stay at the designated hotel on the first night until you get the negative result. And now you also need to do a second PCR test on the fifth or sixth day and also stay at the designated hotel on the fifth or sixth day. Other than that, Thailand right now is heaven. Even though a lot of the touristic places are closed, you will be able to experience Thailand in a way you won't be able to experience it any other time. The islands are completely empty, the beaches are completely empty, and it's just like paradise. It really is paradise. You can really connect with nature. I've been in Koh Tao, uh, for a significant amount of time and I absolutely love it. A lot of the sites are empty, you can get really cool photos, really cool videos. I actually really enjoy Thailand at this moment and also the price. The prices went down dramatically because there is so much supply and less demand. Thailand used to be a very cheap place to travel in the first place, but now it's even cheaper. I would say about half to one third cheaper than it used to be before COVID. So if you are traveling on a budget, Thailand can be a really good choice. Or even if you want luxury travel, everything is way, way cheaper and you can get luxury rooms for very ridiculous prices. See, I'm in Khao San Road now and it's completely deserted. Everything is closed. Nobody is here. Actually, Khao San Road became a driving road. You can just drive here with the car. I was never able to do it before. In all of Khao San Road, only this store is open and this store. Unbelievable. A lot of the businesses closed down and they are open for rent. And even the advertisement signs are open for publishing. Like people don't even use the advertising signs anymore. No tourists, no point. This is unbelievable. I'm driving in Khao San Road. I've never done it before. Look. So right now I'm driving on Sukhumvit Road. It's Saturday afternoon and usually this road would be bumper to bumper. But right now, busy a little bit, but definitely not as busy as it used to be. And last week after they had the Omicron spread, I was driving here on Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon and the road was completely empty. Sukhumvit Road was completely empty. The highways were completely empty. I was driving by myself. On this regard, when it comes to traffic, Thailand and especially Bangkok is much, much, much better. And 
also the air quality is much much better I don't see the black smog that I used to see pre-covid all the time and I also feel it much less pollution in the air so that's another benefit of traveling and visiting uh, Thailand and especially Bangkok during covid midday at Bangkok usually this street will be packed with traffic completely empty commuting from home to the office usually it will take me 50 minutes to one hour on a normal busy day today it's GPS says 24 minutes traffic is much 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 better this is Patanakan road very busy road in Bangkok midday no traffic I'm walking in Central Chitlom Central Chitlom is a very well-known department store in Bangkok there are actually people here shopping not a lot but there is movement uh, but I just want you to see that everybody here is wearing a mask so if you come to Thailand please respect their culture and respect the rules especially as foreigners and wear the mask in public area there is not one single person in this department store or in shopping mall that is not wearing a mask the Thais take it very seriously many of them were wearing a mask even before covid so now with covid they are all 100 percent wearing masks at public places and you don't want to be this angry crazy foreigner that is upset with them uh, that they force you to wear a mask everywhere so if you come to thailand make sure to respect the rules and wear a mask Again, this is only in the big department store and shopping malls. In the islands, it's a little bit less strict, but in Bangkok, they take it very seriously. The traffic at Sukhumvit on Chitlom on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Usually this will be exploded with cars. Unbelievable. With the Omicron spread, the Thai just don't leave the house. Let's go and see what it's like upstairs at the, tra at the sky train. Empty. Midday, and it's empty. Okay, I'm walking at the sky train bridge, going up to the station. There is nobody here. It's like I'm all by myself. People in Thailand just don't leave the house because of the COVID. Look at this. It's like almost empty. Usually there will be so many people here. You wouldn't be able to pass through without bumping into someone. It's completely empty. And the people that do always wear masks. All the time, masks. You won't see one single person without a mask in public area especially in Bangkok I remind you it's 2 p.m. at Central Chitlom what is usually a super busy station in the central of Bangkok let's see if my card is still working I haven't been on the sky train since COVID started two years ago no luck I'm really curious to see how many people would be on the train. Okay, there is literally nobody here. And on this side, just a few people. Usually at this time, they would stand in lines, like very organized lines, to enter the train. It's 3 p.m on Sukhumvit Road on Chitlom completely empty four people and me are waiting for the train unbelievable
Okay. I'm on the sky train in Bangkok. There are some people, but it's not crowded as it usually is. And as you can see, everybody, but everybody is wearing a mask. There is not one single person on the train that is not wearing a mask. It's not even a discussion in this country. I'm getting off at Siam station. This is the most busiest station in Bangkok because this is where you exchange between the trains. So it's a central station. See? Pretty empty. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's go down to the Silom line. Maybe it will be a little bit more busy. Like on a normal day, people would stand in line. You wouldn't be able to walk here. Siam Station at 3 p.m. I've never seen it so empty. Absolutely mind-boggling. Not a lot of people on this train also. Usually it will be packed, like people will come together, but nobody is here. Next station, Southern Air. Interchange with authorities. You would never find a place to sit on this train at this time before COVID. Empty train. Hi guys, I'm standing outside the JTC. The JTC is the Jewelry Trade Center. A lot of my subscribers are from the diamond industry and the jewelry industry. And a lot of them come here to source their uh, diamonds and gemstones and do business so i'm gonna have a walk inside and show you what it looks like inside i have a lot of customers in this building so i come here quite regularly for over 12 years now but you have to see what it looks like inside it's not what it used to be i'll tell you that As you can see a lot of the businesses here closed down and a lot of stores and space are open for rent. All of this is closed, closed, open for rent. The top floor are even more depressing. Yeah, a lot less people, a lot less movement. But on the other end, because of this, if you come, you can get really good deals and really good prices. Now is the time to buy jewelry. They have a really cool store here. This one is still in business with a lot of cool amethyst from Brazil. Three hundred and fifty kilo amethyst from Brazil. I really want one in my office. Pick up, don't touch. I need all like amethyst. I need all like up. Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty five thousand dollars. So I mark now. They also have from Uruguay, first time I see it. I don't really deal with this kind of stuff. I deal with diamonds and gemstones, but this is really cool. You can see everything is empty. The ground floor is a little bit more busy, but still some stalls are closed. Here. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are buyers and want to make money, then this is a good time to come to Thailand and source your diamonds and gemstones and jewelry for your jewelry stores. Yes, I know it's not very inviting, but you can get really good deals, trust me, really good deals. And you can combine it with a vacation in Phuket, Phuket Sandbox, so you fly to Phuket, you stay one week in Phuket, enjoy the beaches, enjoy vacation, and then come to Bangkok, do your work, source your uh, diamonds, your gemstone, your jewelry, and then fly back home to Europe or the States or wherever you're coming from, and 
you get really good deals. Cannot stress it out enough. Really good deals. You basically pay for your vacation and make extra on it. So I just met my friend here in the boat. Hi. And I'm checking Mozonite and I'm comparing it to a real diamond. Forget to take your original bar, bar. No difference. No difference. Huh? How much is the imitation? Mozonite. Mozonite, yeah. Yes. And how much? Uh, 1,100 baht of carat. And this one is 40,000 US dollar a carat. Okay. No difference. Very good. And hardness is same too. But what most people don't understand, you buy the Mozonite, that's it. You pay 300, 400, 500 dollar, you throw this money down the garbage. You want to resell it, it doesn't worth anything. You buy the real diamond, you pay $400,000 now, in two years you sell it for $500,000, $550,000. Yes, yes. so this is not just the beauty, it's also investment. Yes, yes, it's an investment, sure. If you don't mind asking, asking what are the details on this? It's an HSI 2. Yeah, this is a GIA certified? Yeah, GIA. GIA. Give me a look. Just make sure I don't... Yeah. The, replace the, the, the cheap yeah. uh, imitation with the real diamonds. No, it's all, all rubbish and foolishness. You cannot be too careful with COVID. For my YouTube. Very friendly stuff. So usually downstairs at the stalls is all the cheap stones, the semi-precious stones. But if you want to buy the good deals with the diamonds and gemstones, you have to go up to the supplier's offices. I'm going now to try to sell. Very safe with COVID. Why? With the mask and this very nice. Yeah, because we have to go uh, somewhere else, that's yeah. why. And that's my COVID is crowded. Yeah. This is how you should be able during COVID. This woman has the best fatai in Bangkok. But look, all the restaurants in the alleys that have very good, authentic Thai food are closed. So That's a lot of garlic. And look, everybody wear mask. No exceptions. <laughs> Still have street food. But they buy it here and they take it up home or to the offices. They playing Chinese chess. Holy cow, this is a COVID-19 center for people with COVID. I'm gonna run away from this. Didn't even know it's here. Now it's 6 p.m. This should be rush hour in Bangkok. Let's see how busy the BTS is. This is Saturn, another very busy street that should be packed with cars. Look at the station. Empty. Nobody here. Usually this is the time that people uh, get off of work. There have a lot of offices in this area. So this station would be 
packed with people leaving work, going home. Nobody is commuting in the SkyTrain. This train should be packed. <laughs> wow, so many spaces. So usually at this time, when people leave work, you would need to push yourself in and cram with like millions of people on the subway or the SkyTrain. This is a SkyTrain. But now it's like very empty. I kind of like COVID in Bangkok. Not a lot of people, a lot of space, easy to commute, no traffic. Almost no people are getting in. Still not as packed as it used to be and as you can see everybody is wearing a mask. It's not even a discussion here. Everybody wears a mask. Everybody is being responsible. So my advice for foreigners that come put the mask. You don't want to be these foreigners that the Thai people look at and hate them. I'm in Siam station. During rush hour it's a little bit more busy. I'm in Siam Paragon. Siam Paragon is one of the most busiest shopping malls in the center of Bangkok. I just stopped by to see what is going on here. It's 6 p.m. Tamai? It's 6.30 p.m. so there should be a lot of people but there are not so many. I'm not allowed to shoot in here. The security guard stopped me that I'm not allowed to shoot. I don't know why. But I'm going to log off. This is just a quick view. So the big shopping mall are walking. Still a lot of people. All the shops are open. Not as much as before but yeah. All the shops are open, you can come and do a lot of shopping. This is the fourth phase Buddha at Chitlom next to uh, Central World. This used to be a place packed with Chinese tourists who believe that if they pray for this Buddha, it, they will get a lot of money. Right now only Thai locals come here, but before COVID, it used to be stormed with Chinese tourists. This is the Apple store in central Bangkok. I don't think you can see it from here. I'm too tired to go to show you. But it's one of the most beautiful Apple stores in the world, in my opinion. 
I've been wearing this mask for seven hours straight and like I really really want to just like take it off so I'll give you a tour at the Apple store next time if you find this video useful so far please I would highly appreciate if you can press the like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm oh finally I'm back in my car let me take the mask off alcohol to disinfect my hands if I got COVID from today it's because of you guys let's replenish my supply of alcohol I'm almost out I'm so thirsty I'm driving on the highway now 7 p.m. should be rush hour but the traffic is flowing take a look I love traffic at Bangkok during COVID Bangkok nightlife is much better in my opinion. Much less people and much less crowded. A lot of the big clubs are closed, but seems like the scene has shifted to open spaces next to the river, like this one in this video, and to rooftops. Bangkok has many rooftops. The one I mean right now is at the top of the Hilton. Really beautiful view. Wow. Oh.